Hi YouTube, this is Patrick, and this is my review for Uncharted 3. I finished it a little bit uh, about last week. Uh, I forgot to talk a little bit about it. Um, the first two Uncharted games, I'll just start with that. I um, played the first one, and I thought it was a solid game. Um, a little aggravating. Uh, but I was told when I played it that basically the whole point of playing the first game was to get to the second game. Um, and this was true. Because when the first game was fine, um, you know, had a, a established, you know, a fun, like, sense of humor. It was, it, it was a, a fun to play. Um, it didn't rely... I mean, when it relied on the, the shooting part of it, it was frustrating. But everything else was actually pretty good. Uh, the second game... They, um, basically, the first game has this part where you blow up, like, a, uh, like a barrel near, like, a car, and the car flips over, and it's almost like a, a quick, like, movie element. Like, it's very, really, it felt, like, really, like, interactive and everything. Um, the game designers said, how can we do that for an entire game? And that's what the second one was. The second game was one of the best games ever, um... You know, it just has these levels, specifically the train level from that game, which, if you're watching this, you know what that is. Uh, fantastic level. Um, great boss battle. Just fun story. Build on everything. Um, and then, led to the anticipation for this one. Uh, I don't anticipate games that much, uh, but I this was something I could not wait for. And uh, it didn't disappoint. Um, well... Minor disappointments, but um, not really fair. Uh, let's just start off by saying that the upgrade from the first game to the second game was so tremendous that asking them to upgrade, you know, you know, with that like same level uh, from the second game to the third game is just it's ridiculous. So it's pretty much more of the same from the second game, just new locations, um, and they maybe added a little more of the interactive stuff. Um, it's a lot of, like, more or less minor updates, and I'm not online, I haven't played the online stuff. I heard the online stuff is actually where I think everything got the much, like, you know, a lot more, like, a major update on that. Um, so I, I don't go, um, you know, don't, like, add that in with this. So don't factor that in, as far as this review goes. I just played the game for the story, and it was really good, um, this time... Um, there's a slight danger about if they do a fourth game about things getting a little repetitive. Um, there's still a plenty of enough, uh, plenty of things to keep it fresh. Uh, but you know, it, it was fine this time. But if they do the next one. I think they got to start really making some changes. Um, there's only so many times into the well. But uh, for now, anyway, uh, they did great jobs with their characters from the first game, specifically with, like, Sully and Drake's background, and, um, playing as Drake as, like, a teenager. It was just, it felt, you know, like you were playing a story. Um, like you were watching a movie, like you were reading a book and playing a video game. It was just, it was, it, that's what you expect from this. That's one of the things I expected. And that's what I got, and that's why this is good. Um... The gameplay, there's really... I mean, it's more interactive with around the area and everything like that. Um, the levels... I mean, I guess the level, the, the, the level where you're at, you're on the ship, uh, you know, and the swells are really, like, making you move back and forth. That was fantastic. Everything in the desert, um, it was fine. I just preferred the, the snow stuff from the second game to the desert stuff, but that's just me. Um... Although, the I, I love the level where, this might be a spoiler, I guess, if you care, but you're in a plane crash, and um, you wake up in the desert, and you have to just figure out where to, get, where to go. And there's basically nothing to do, and you just kind of wait until the game decides to take over for you. Um, and I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Um, it's Again, it's one of the things I expect from this game. Uh, that sense that you're a part of a story. That's what I love about it. Uh, I will say that one of their problems was their big set piece kind of levels. From watching the, the trailer for the game, I kind of thought the airplane level was going to be 
you know, this, like, major thing, much like the train level from the second game. It was. It was really short. Um, visually great, but it just, it was a little disappointing. Um, only to discover that later on in the game, they did have a level similar to the train level, where uh, they kind of ripped off Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, where you have to get to the top of a line of vehicles, riding your horse, leaping off of your horse onto the vehicle, killing the guys on there, leaping back onto your horse, riding to the next one, shooting uh, to get, you know, to someone at the top vehicle. Um, and it was fun. It was a lot of fun, but it just... The train level just still, I think, completely blows it out of the water. Um, but, uh, what else? Let's see. The... I uh, still thought the best level ended up being the the water, the um, the sinking ship. That was a lot of fun. Um, and there's some great like chase. Uh, one when you're a Drake is like a, a teenager. Some great like chase sequences. And one later on where you're chasing that one asshole that keeps shooting like darts and poisoning everybody. Yeah, fuck him. Um, also, they did this new thing in this game where you can't see your enemies because either you're in the dark somewhere and they have a flashlight on you while they're shooting at you. So you're kind of shooting at the flashlight, so it makes it a little more difficult. Or you're in the desert and you can't see anybody. Um, so, you know, it was not, it was, that's actually an upgrade or an extra level of difficulty about it, which is good. Um, like I said, minor upgrades, which uh, I liked a lot. Um, to get to the negative part, it has to do with the near the end of the game, which felt a little more anticlimactic, even more than the first game. Um, and it's not just because there's no real like boss battle, which in the second game you have a great boss battle, but even in the first game, you get to that last level and you're like, okay, we're here, this is it, this is going to be a bitch, but I'm going to feel accomplished when I'm done. This one... You know, you fight a bunch... They introduce their, like, supernatural element. Um, which you have to get through. Um, it, you know, it was all really, really well done. But then we get to this last part, and I'm like, okay, here we go. And the game, like, took over for you completely. It, like, it introduces this, like, new weapon toward the last level where you think, oh, I, I can't wait to use this. And you don't use it. I mean, the, you use it, but the the game does it for you. Which I thought was ridiculous. I was, you know, the whole you know the whole time, um, it has to do with underwater. You shoot it underwater. You'll know if you play the game. Uh, but yeah, it, it just really bothered me. And then I realized that that was it. That the game was pretty much over now. Like there's gonna be one more fight, and then you have to do your traditional run out of the, you know, magical city before it you know, it, you know destroys itself or implodes or whatever. Um, so I was a little disappointed by that, just for the fact that I didn't have that moment. I was like, okay, here we go, here it is, and then um, it was more like, oh, this is it, you know, this is the last, like, you know, I'm going to have to, you know, beat the shit out of this guy, which is not going to be that difficult, and then just run out of here. I'm like, yeah, that's too bad. Um, but uh, to be honest, still, with saying all of that, great game. Um, I'd probably give the first one... A B, a B. Uh, second game is an A plus. This one tried to be an A minus, but I'm still giving it an A. Um, completely worth it. Uh, let me know what you thought. The um, I will say everything. The every character. Oh, my computer shut off. Every uh, every character thing with the characters. Every bit of the sense of humor. Every bit of the interactive stuff with the other stuff in the levels is even better. It's just upgrade. All those minor things are just wonderfully upgraded. Um, it's just just some few, not major things, but just a couple of things just make it overall for me a less experience in the second game. But that's a, you know what what can you do? It's it's hard to top the second one. Uh, I hope they can with the fourth one, and uh, we'll see. All right, guys, later.